Sharks are the apex predators of the ocean. How is the insight of sharks different from other fish? Let's do the shark's anatomy today. To show you guys a shark, I brought sharks that are sold for dissection. This shark is a species called the dogfish that lives on the seabed. I think this one is the largest creature that I've introduced so far. This shark has its tail cut off, which is the spot where the blood has been drained. Now, let's have a look at their body. First, sharks have five to seven gill openings on the side of their faces. Sharks usually swim and breathe with water flow that enters their mouths. Also, they use spiracle behind their eyes to breathe, which is a hole where water can come in. Next, this dorsal fin characterizes sharks. The reason sharks move around scarily with their dorsal fins stood still is that they can't actually fold them. Unlike other fish whose fins fold like this, sharks' fins are structured not to be folded. Dorsal fin serves to guide the direction of swimming. The caudal fin is for creating momentum when they swim. And the pectoral fin plays a role in balancing the body so that it doesn't turn upside down. If you flip the shark upside down, you can see the pelvic fin at the bottom, which can help distinguish between females and males. The male's pelvic fin has a long shaped organ. This is an organ called claspers, which is a shark's penis. Surprisingly, sharks have two penises. It's amazing that sharks have two penises, but it's actually more surprising to know that fish can have a penis. Most fish do external fertilization, but male sharks put their sperms directly into the female body with claspers for internal fertilization. They have two claspers, but only one of them is used for mating. Next, let's begin with the shark's anatomy. First, Turn the shark upside down and fix it. Then cut it from the anus to the mouth. Then, if you look inside, it looks like this. The very first organ you see is the shark's liver. Sharks do not have air bladder. Instead, they get buoyancy from their large size of liver. If you cut off the shark's liver and float it in the water, you can see it floating like this. Sharks' livers are lighter than water because they are rich in oil, so they can build buoyancy in their body. However, even with the liver, the shark's body is still heavier than water. They must constantly swim in order not to sink. And if you take the liver out, you can find the shark's digestive tract. This J-shaped organ is their stomach. It goes through the intestine here, and the digestive tract leads to the anus. Shark's intestine is one of the shortest of vertebrates. To overcome this short length, sharks have a unique structure inside their intestines. If you cut the intestine and check the inside, you can see the spiral valve where the shark's foods move into it making a circle shape. This spiral valve allows food to be digested longer in the intestine. And if you cut the top, you can also check what the shark ate right before it died. In this shark's stomach, the crab's leg came out. This is because the shark eats mainly crustaceans on the seabed. Lastly, here is a shark's gonad in the upper part of the digestive tract. Since this is a female shark, this part is an ovary of the shark. Shark's anatomy ends here. Would Sebastian, a land animal, be afraid of sharks too? <laughs> Sebastian is not interested in sharks. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.